Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Gamey Daddy channel. Today I have a really fantastic build in today's episode of Steal This Build. And I feel like this build is going to serve a lot of the new players coming into the community. It was provided by one of our audience members, Overseer 141. So shout out to you. The fun part of Steal This Build is it's a community showcase. It shows what the community is building, and it really does provide conversation, hints, and tips for other people within the community to share ideas. So today's video, I'm going to do it slightly differently because I want to be a little bit more meticulous in explaining what this gear set is about and somewhat to try to answer questions that I've been getting from new players. I've been seeing comments of people you know, popping up, especially with my Division 2, is it worth it video? Many people are buying the game cheap and finding the video, and so they need some help help in explaining gear and they even feel very overwhelmed with what's going on. So I hope this video can at least answer maybe one or two questions that they may have. The, uh, the build was provided by Overseer 141, as I mentioned earlier, and it's a very, very nice build, wonderful for teaching a straightforward build mechanism and how synergies work uh, in a very fun way. So it's four pieces of Hunter's Fury and two pieces of Bellstone Armory using Intimidate on the chest piece, Bloodsucker on the backpack. This is a fantastic build. It's also using a gunner specialization because there are so many perks that a gunner specialization does give you regarding DPS and preservation in the sense that you're healing yourself and staying alive much longer. In fact, I'm really jealous. I'm going to go slap on a version of this build myself and I think I'm probably going to be running this build because it is insane the way that the build is actually set up. There's also a small video provided um, as well. This is one of the fun things about Steal This Build that I tell everyone. If you can provide a little clip of yourself using the build, it really will fast track your build to the audience. Now, let's go into the build philosophy of this items that, that you have here. So for those of you who are new, you notice that I have some green items. I have a yellow item and I also have um, an item here that is uh, of the exotic brand that's of red or whatever you want to call it, orange or whatever color. These are the different tiers of gear sets that you'll be using when you get to end game by the time you're in beginning game you're going to be seeing green purple and blue items crush them move on if you can if you have time to read through the stats then read through the stats you're going to understand what they're doing but at a point you're also going to start getting brand sets in those versions but before we even jump into that let's look at the gear sets and look at how you you look at the stats and read them under the gear sets okay so the hunter's fury gear set for those of you who know provides you with 15 percent shotgun damage and 15 percent smg damage when you wear two pieces those two pieces will basically increase the base damage of your weapons if they are in the shotgun class or if they are in the submachine class that's pretty much what that means the three pieces will grant you 20 percent armor on kill this is where when you take down an enemy npc you get 20 percent of your armor bonus and it does stack in some cases and i'll tell you basically those cases where it stacks um, and then you can see that in action um, and then the three and the, the four piece uh variable basically three, it gives you 100 percent health on kill as well basically if your health is low enemy npc runs up on you you take him down your health's going to basically 100 percent get back uh you know to full and that's pretty cool uh, apex predator basically says enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff and this amplifies your weapon damage against them by 20 percent it says also killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within five meters and amplifies weapon damage by five percent for 10 seconds stacking up to five times so you're getting an extra amplified bonus that's i think it's about 25 percent or so and this is actually pretty good <laughs> um i mean for 10 seconds so amplified weapon damage is what you want with apex predator in the hunter's fury gear set amplified damage means it will multiply your damage uh, modifiers by that percentage Additive means it will add it. And so we have additive and multiplicative damage um, boosting factors in the Division 2. Just if that didn't make any sense, it will probably make some sense here in a little bit. Now, with the backpack, they're using a Bellstone Armory backpack with the talent Bloodsucker. I think I have Bloodsucker here on one of my backpacks. And what Bloodsucker does is if you kill an enemy, it adds and refreshes a stack of 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds. And a max stack is, is basically uh, 10. So it basically stacks armor on top of you, the user, every time that you're basically going with this. And that's one of the cool things about it. And also Intimidate its job is to then use any stacked armor that you're getting to amplify your weapon damage. I don't have anything on my in my uh, on my character 
that has intimidate. So we're going to go to the like, you know, we're going to go to the, the recalibration station and we're going to take a look at it. Let's go to the library and we're going to go to the chess piece talent and intimidate. Intimidate says while you have bonus armor, you amplify your weapon damage to 35 percent to enemies within 10 meters. So this build, if you've noticed the theme, your the closer you are to enemy NPCs, the better off you are when it comes to dealing damage to them. Now, how is the agent gaining their, um, you know, their armor on kill stat? This is Overseer 141. They're using the gunner specialization, which has a lot of really cool perks. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to run and gun in the Division 2, gunner is definitely your way to go. You have a, a passive talent here, which is called the Incessant, and it gives you 10% armor um, basically on kill. Every time you kill an enemy, you also have a lot of other perks that do come with using it. You have a grenade. That's a riot foam grenade. It can hold enemies in place if you can catch them. Many of the enemy NPCs, I have to confess, are insane, and they move around really fast. It's one really interesting thing that they do. Another thing, too, is the coupler talent. Basically, every third reload is 50% faster. So as you're reloading your weapon, you're going to realize that your reload speed starts to become much better as you're going. And another thing, too, is the armor kits. When you use an armor kit, you get 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. So you get a stack as well on top of your armor that's already available. So you get 130% armor, which then means that the Intimidate on your chest piece is then going to do more work for you in, the, in terms of granting you an amplified weapon damage, 35% to enemies that are, you know, basically 10 meters around you. So it's a really good, you know, way to actually synergize all of your builds and go with it. Now, a few other tips that really do make uh, armor on kill and using, uh, you know, builds like these quite viable is that you can run specific weapons that allow for it or mods. So let's look at one of these weapons. This is a weapon called the Mop. It's a named shotgun, has a very decent rate of fire, and it grants you 10% armor on kill as its main, its core attribute. So every time you pick up a mop, it will all come with 10% armor on kill. So when Overseer 141 says, oh, my build is showcasing 60% armor on kill, then this, you, you know that the armor on kill is coming from this shotgun, the Hunter's Fury pieces, basically here, even with the, um, the gunner specialization, and then two pieces of the Bellstone Armory as well. These provide you with another 10% armor on kill. So that's why they're using it. You can also run armor on kill mods in the game. And these mods, they are now very challenging to come by. They used to be really good, but you can get yourself an armor on kill mod. I don't even know if the max is like 17,000. The most I get is like 15 and 16,000 uh, when it comes to the stats. I think the max I have is about 16,800 or something. And so these will also stack armor on kill if you really want to go that route. I think I only have like three of them. I used to have more, but then for some strange, weird reason, I started deleting them because they didn't used to make too much uh, of, a, of a difference because we didn't have a bunch more armor slots or the armor slots were very different in the division at that time. And then also you can run a very good shotgun because you're getting armor on kill at this point. The backfire exotic is an exotic weapon if you have it from completing the seasons or if it drops for you somehow. It's also something that you should consider because it's a weird exotic weapon. I'm not going to take time to explain it much in this video. It bleeds you when you reload your weapon, and it bleeds you for a percentage of the damage that you actually deal to enemy NPCs. It's really weird. A lot of people in the community kind of frown upon it, but I think it's a very creative uh, weapon nonetheless. So this is pretty much the steal this build video for this week, and I've decided to do it differently because I wanted to try to answer questions but at the end of the day, you can come into the Gamey Daddy Discord server, submit build ideas, or even ask over CR141 further questions saying, hey, why are you building this way? What are other ways you can build and keep the conversation going? You can also do so in the comment section. And I believe that this is a very fun way for us to be able to share ideas, a very fun way for us to continue to build within the community and also enjoy the Division 2. So thank you so much for your time and audience. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, like I said, if you really want to submit a build, go ahead into the Discord server, do so. And if you have a video, I'll be happy to put it up here and show the community uh, what you got going on. Thank you once again for your time and audience. Hopefully we'll see you in another video. Peace.